Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. <clears throat> well, this video is kind of an answer for a video I did back several months ago uh, entitled uh, Preppers with a Technician's License Beware. That video's got 25,000 uh, hits on it. And I don't know how many hundreds of comments, I want to say 300 or 400 or something like that as of this day. <clears throat> it's probably one of my most viewed uh, videos at 25,000. I've got a couple of them uh, about grounding uh, antennas that have more than that. But uh, what's really surprised me <clears throat> Although a lot of the comments in the video were tongue-in-cheek, me poking fun at the preppers out there that run out there and, and buy them one of these, one of these here uh, handy talky radios and uh, basically put it in a go bag and, you know, like, I, don't, I don't even know if they know how to turn it on. I wonder if they know they're supposed to turn the knob to turn it on. I don't know because <clears throat> the whole point of that video was it was directed toward preppers that go and get a tech license and buy one of these, put them away, never use them, never find out just what they can do and can't do. <clears throat> and although I, I did it as a rant with some what I thought were funny lines. A bunch of preppers took great rants at me, did great rants at me about the video, that I was disparaging people in the ham radio hobby. I was disparaging them. And I'm not a very good example of uh, what a amateur radio operator should be and all this other uh, politically correct BS. Anyway, I'm going to say it again in this video. If you're a prepper and you went in and took your technician's test, now if you're not a prepper and you don't own an amateur radio of any kind and or you own a CB, I'm not talking to you. Okay, so CBers, I'm not talking to you. In fact, in the previous video, I mentioned that you really don't have to get a license. You could just go out there and get a CB radio and do the same thing that these things do. Exactly. You don't have to waste your time getting a license. All right. Just go buy a CB radio. There's a bunch of them out there on the market and you'll be able to do the same thing this thing does. So, uh, no CBers need respond because I basically told them to go get a CB radio if they're not going to do any more studying or learning within the amateur radio hobby. If they're just going to go out there and buy one of these, stick them in a go bag, and I guess pull them out every three months to make sure the battery's charged. All right? Again, I own three of these. This one happens to be a DMR radio. This one happens to be an analog radio. All right, so I own three of these. I experimented with these three radios just to see what they would do. I carry them around to various uh, uh, bike races, balloon stuff, you know, balloon things, uh, to the annual uh, county fair where we're located during the county fair, and I, uh, various MCOM uh, emergency management drills and things like that. I carry these around, okay? But I'm aware of what they can do and they can't do. That was the point of the video. Now, a lot of those preppers don't know what they have in the go bag. They don't realize it. I had some comments like, well, you can always listen to the AM, FM radio 
to get reports, government reports. Again, the entire video was about a grid down situation where there wouldn't be any FM channels or AM channels on the air. They wouldn't be there. So this little radio that has an FM radio inside it, this one does too, uh, you wouldn't pick up anything because they're off the air. All right? So I think what happens on YouTube is somebody comes in, they watch uh, five minutes of a 15-minute video, then they make they don't read any of the comments that may be down in the comments to see if someone has already commented and I've answered that comment. They don't do that. Uh, this, is, this is the millennials at work. Everything in 45 seconds or you lose their attention. Okay, that's what this is. Millennials at work. Uh, so if you didn't watch that video, I'll put a link to it at the bottom. I'd encourage you to watch the whole thing, okay? And to read some of the comments. You'll get a kick out of some of them. Uh, name calling, uh, I'm no good for the hobby, I'm an old fuddy-duddy. You knew me, you wouldn't know I'm a fuddy-duddy. You would know I'm not. Anyway, uh, can't judge a book by its cover, millennials. Anyway, these are fine to have. Don't depend on them. If this is the only radio you own, and you have no intention of ever buying another radio, even a mobile that you might put in a car or put in your ham shack, well, what can I tell you? If the day does come that there's a grid down, and assuming uh, this isn't burned out by the by an EMP burst, assuming that, and I've said it probably wouldn't be, it depends on too many factors to say yes or no, uh, you're going to be highly disappointed at that time. So what I'd encourage you to do is take this thing out of your go bag. Program in some repeater frequencies. Okay? Find out where the repeater's located. Drive away from the repeater. Now, you can try transmitting from inside your car, but that's not the best practice. You're going to have to stop the car every so often and get out because your car is... A, got metal all around it, and, you, and the signals can't get in or get out very well. Get out, see how, see what kind of range you got on this. Now, you, make sure you try to transmit and get an answer back, because you may be able to receive real far away, because the repeater's transmitting at 50 or 75 watts or 100 watts. Whereas your little radio is transmitting at four or five watts, okay? So you may be able to hear them, but they won't be able to hear you, okay? So you have to find out how far they can hear you. And really, the best way to do that is to get one of your buddies <clears throat> and have that person get in the car and drive in the opposite direction from you and let's just say every five minutes driving at 45 miles an hour, every five minutes you get out of the car and you attempt to contact the other person via simplex. That will tell you how far this will reach. You're going to be very surprised on what the limited distances, you will be able to talk simplex off of one of these. Even if you have an improved antenna like I do on this one. And this one's supposed to be 8 watts besides. All right? I can reach maybe, maybe 
25 miles as the bird flies, maybe, but I'm in and out of the repeater. They're telling me I'm statically, I'm dropping the repeater, you know, and all that stuff. But I can reach a repeater at about 25 miles, but not very dependably, uh, even though that repeater is, has an antenna that's way up high, and I am, you know, kind of way up high where I live. I'm at a pretty good altitude up, considering Texas. So I'm not down in a hole or uh, anything like that. I'm more or less on top of a ridge. So I've got pretty good location. If I was down lower, you know, it wouldn't even go that far. All right. So determine the distance before the grid down. Get out there with somebody you know with a radio. Pick up frequency and make sure it's clear first. And uh, just start transmitting back and forth at various distances. And you will quickly determine how far you can reliably, reliably transmit. I'm not talking about uh, he, hear, he or she hears every third word. That's not reliable. I'm talking about they can understand every word you say. Okay? So do that and take a look at that Preppers Beware video. I think you'll get a kick out of some of the comments. And... Uh, it's just a sign of the times that there's people out there that have no sense of humor and their only comment uh, procedure is to badmouth you uh, in the comments. They don't have a solution. They don't post a solution. They just uh, badmouth you. And then if you go to their channel, Guess what? Three quarters of them are totally blank. They have nothing on there. Zero. Nothing on their channel. So here they are. They're wandering around. You know, people like me, I've got 170 videos up. They watch one video and all of a sudden, you are a bad person. You are a bad person off of that one video. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I was just doing a little more ranting and raving at the Preppers with a Technician's License. Nobody else. Nobody else. You're a general. If you're a CB operator, great. All right. Only Preppers with a Technician's License who never upgrade. Anyway, you got to watch the other video. I'll put a link down in the comment section for the original video with all the hits on it. You can watch that. I was a little tongue-in-cheek and ranting and raving at them. And that's are the only people I'm ranting and raving at. Okay, as I usually do, I wish you clear skies in 73. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Everybody be good. Keep watching, subscribe. Hey, go to my other channel. I got a link down in the comments. I'm selling products as an Amazon associate and an eBay partner. So if you uh, use some of the links I've got there, I'll make a small commission. I'm telling you everything. It's not hidden. <laughs> I'll make a small commission that helps me pay for all this stuff that you see in the ham shack. Anyway, be good. Come on back for the next video. Have a great day.